Marshall Trimble's cowboy ballads and folksy storytelling make learning about Arizona history fun and entertaining. It's only natural that Marshall would write, sing, teach, and study Arizona legends and lore. He's a native son who has lived, worked, and played in urban and rural areas throughout our great state, collecting many friends along the way. Marshall Tribble was born on his family's small livestock ranch south of Tempe in 1939. The Trimbles moved their ranch to Mesa, where Marshall first attended school. After World War II, his father sold the livestock, hired on with the Santa Fe Railroad, and moved the family north to Ash Fork. During what Trimble refers to as his character building years in Ash Fork, his family lived in a combination trailer, tent, and lean-to without running water or plumbing. During Marshall's senior year in 1955, the family moved back to the Valley, where he graduated from West Phoenix High School. A lifelong baseball fan with plenty of talent of his own, he played semi-pro ball for the storied Glendale Grays and on the Phoenix College baseball team. After a brief but meaningful stint in the U.S. Marine Corps, he returned to Phoenix College, then completed his bachelor's and master's degrees at Arizona State. During college, he bought a used guitar and began to play the popular folk music of the day, particularly inspired by the Kingston Trio. In 1963, he helped form the Gin Mill Three, later known by the more popular and politically correct name of Prairie Boys. They cut four records and played in cities and towns throughout the West. After two years, the group broke up. Marshall dropped out of folk music, got married, and tried to settle down. Restless, he joined a cattle drive in Montana, where he visited the site of Custer's last stand. He was so moved by the visit that he decided to dedicate his life to teaching, singing, and writing stories about the American West. In 1969, he became a teacher at Scottsdale's Coronado High School, teaching American and Southwest history through 1977. Extremely popular with his students, he motivated them through a multimedia approach to learning, playing his guitar, singing, and telling folk tales. Over 30 years later, former Coronado students write to him about the impact he had on their lives. 1977 was a monumentous year in Trimble's life. He left Coronado to become a full-time director of Southwest Studies at Scottsdale Community College, a program he developed. He published his first book, Arizona, A Panoramic History of a Frontier State. Although his friends and students knew how passionate he was about his home state, its land and its people, for the first time, thousands of readers would learn about Arizona through his down-to-earth, descriptive writing. In the book's introduction, he wrote, Ma Nature was a generous old lady, and she must have taken a special interest in Arizona. Stirring her cauldron of beautiful creations, she treated the land as her own special laboratory, conjuring up the most versatile piece of handiwork in North America. Since that first book, he published 18 others and contributed articles to dozens of magazines and newspapers throughout the country. He produced and starred in television and radio shows about Arizona's history and environment and traveled the state and country entertaining audiences with songs and stories about our state's rich heritage. He's been called the Will Rogers of Arizona, the state's perennial goodwill ambassador, and one of the most popular parade grand marshals in the state. In 1997, Governor J. Fife Symington appointed Trimble the official historian of Arizona. Governor Jane Hull reappointed him in 1998. Governor Janet Napolitano reappointed him to the position in 2003 also appointing him co-chairman of Arizona Centennial Committee to plan for the state's 100th birthday in 2012. He continues to direct the Southwest Studies Department at Scottsdale Community College, where he has been for 32 years. While researching, writing about, and promoting Arizona and its history, Marshall Trimble has been especially generous with his time and talents in Scottsdale. He serves on the advisory boards of the McDowell Sonoran Land Trust, and the Scottsdale Historical Society. He recently served on the committee that raised funds to commission a statue honoring his friend, the late Mayor Herb Drinkwater. There's hardly a community group he hasn't spoken to or entertained from the Friends of the Library to the annual Winfield Scott birthday party, the school groups, and civic clubs. For 20 years, he has hosted the Arizona Historical Foundation's Barry M. Goldwater Lecture Series, held at the Kerr Cultural Center in Scottsdale. In 2000, he was selected as one of Arizona's representatives in the Library of Congress Local Legacies. In 2001, 
Planners for the Westin Kierlin Resort in Scottsdale hired Marshall as a consultant to help them achieve the resort's theme, the essence of Arizona. Visitors from around the world now learn about Arizona from plaques, photos, and exhibits Marshall orchestrated throughout the resort. At the resort's dedication, the Westin Kierlin named him a charter Arizona culture keeper, then put him in charge of selecting men, women, and groups from throughout the state to honor annually as Arizona culture keepers. Marshall's Outpost, a pavilion at the resort, is named in his honor. He's an author, historian, singer, cowboy, poet, educator, and community leader. But the title Marsh is most proud of is father. His son, U.S. Army Lieutenant Roger LaRoe Trimble, graduated from the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, class of 2001. He serves as an officer in an armored cavalry unit. 